Good afternoon and welcome. We're coming to you from day two of the Fiji Symposium in Bangalore, the platform for all dialogue on financial inclusion. And with me today is the Vice President of Enterprise Integrations and Sales, BIT. Welcome, Roland Higgins. Welcome. Thank you. How does it feel to be part of the first Fiji Symposium? It feels great. Um, I've traveled all the way from Barbados. Um, I'd like to thank the government of India, the ITU, the World Bank, uh, for having us here. Uh, it's, it's been a, a very enjoyable first few days. That's great. Welcome. <laughs> so uh, tell us a little more about BIT and what exactly it is. Yeah, BIT is a financial technology company and we specialize in distributed ledger technology. And what we have is a full ecosystem stack that can be rolled out in any country from the three layers of the financial system, which we categorize as one, the central bank level. Two, you have financial institutions and mobile money providers. And three, the retail merchant industry, the retail enterprises. So we have a full ecosystem where a central bank can issue their own digital currency to the public, and that can work alongside physical cash. And we've been in discussions with uh, three central banks in the Caribbean, the Central Bank of Barbados, the Bank of Jamaica, and the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank. So they're all very keen to test this technology in a closed environment so that they can look at the feasibility and the viability of actually rolling out a full-scale implementation of a central bank-issued digital currency. Okay, and this can be taken to any country across the Absolutely. world? Absolutely. All right, that's great. Uh, what are some of the challenges that you have faced along your journey in actually developing something like this? Yeah, it's quite interesting because one of the main challenges is because this technology is so new, there's nothing in legislation that really speaks to it. So we have a situation where we're operating in a very undefined area where there's no existing legal framework or uh, legislation that speaks to what we're doing. So one of the, the things that we would like to see is a regulatory environment that supports innovation. And I think this is key, especially for sustainable development in small islands like Barbados. Yeah, that's great. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Yeah.